What up? And it's your girl, Minna. Today, we are doing a get ready with me. It was going to be a little chatty. We're just hanging out together as we are all quarantined and keeping ourselves free from this virus. We're going to do skincare. I have my steamer right here. I just turned it on. I just got out of the shower. I've been trying to keep my face hydrated because the last thing you want to do is let your face get dry. So normally my skin is soaking wet, but I had to come in the studio and sit down and do all this. And now here we are. So I've been spraying my face with an essence just to make sure that it doesn't get incredibly dry. You want to make sure that your skin is hydrated. You want to make sure your skin stays moist. This is the same for your actual body skin too. You don't want it to get to a dry point. It needs to stay moist, at least damp, damp. It should be damp before you begin to put your product onto it. Moving on to the face. So first step, I turned on my steamer. It's coming on right now. First step is this Garnier Meissler Cleanser Water. As you can see, I still have eye makeup on. I did use a cleansing balm in the shower. And even like with a cleansing balm, it's not gonna take off everything, but believe me, it will take off the majority. I'm also gonna do my hair. It will definitely take off the majority of the makeup. So we have this steamer on to keep the pores open, keep the face hydrated as we work through all of this, right? So I'm getting off any excess makeup. Look, I haven't even even got into my eyes yet and there's makeup on the pad okay so now we go to the eyes and this is very gentle around the eyes so I never have any irritation I am wearing contacts but it's fine you need to make sure you uh, fold the eye under or over in order to get the eyeliner and the mascara off okay now the next eye and you can press it too make sure you fold underneath be as gentle as you can the skin around your eyes is the thinnest on your body be gentle but of course I'm gonna fold this over some more in order to get all of the eyeliner off obviously if you're doing your skincare and you weren't wearing makeup before you began you're not gonna have an issue with makeup around your eyes but I had a full face on before I showered so there is that let me sure okay so putting this away now we're gonna move into an essence or a toner same functionality okay so you can have a toner that's like a, a liquid that you put onto a cotton swab and put that all over your face or you can use a spray i have lots of different products that i use for my skincare i have a different set of products here in my studio let me move this i have a different set of products here in my studio versus what i have in my bathroom so Depending on what video you're watching of mine, you're gonna likely see different things. This is a makeup revolution, niacinamide clarifying essence spray. This is an essence hydrating, okay? Now, I didn't do any exfoliating today because I did do I did exfoliate yesterday, but obviously if you were to exfoliate your skin, that would be before you cleanse usually, depending on what exfoliation tool or product you're using, okay? And you wanna make sure you do that three times a week. Okay, so there's the essence. Now we need to hydrate. Again, lots of different options here. I'm gonna take this Caprice Antioxidant Dew. This is a product that came in my BoxyCharm one of these months. I forget which one it was. All right, and I like to use a lot of product because that's just me, but you don't need to use this much. I just like find it soothing. Taking care of your skin is just so important, no matter how old you are, because your skin will thank you later. You just wanna make sure that you do that. So. So I'm rubbing all of this in and the steamer is just helping to keep the pores open, keep the face hydrated, help all the products sink in because your pores are open. So again, remember how I said you really want to do this immediately out of the shower? Just pat your face dry and then start right away. Your pores aren't going to be open if you let your skin get dry. So if you let your body get dry or your face get dry, then you want to put on your skincare products or your lotion. It's not going to penetrate as well as it would if you were to do it while your face was damp. So the steamer is helping to keep my pores open. All right, this is a Tula 24 hour moisture hydrating day and night cream. I haven't used this more than one time, but again, this is here in the studio and I normally do my skincare in my bathroom where like I said, I have a different set of products. I'm sure this is great. All right, so now we're going into cream. Now I could have easily done two serums. Sometimes I do three serums. It just depends on how my skin is feeling, how much time I have and what I feel like doing. Okay, but you at least want to do your toner. Okay, so you want to cleanse your face. Sorry, you want to start off with your cleansing balm to melt down the makeup, rinse that off. Then you wanna do your cleanser, which is the soap that you use to wash your face. Then you wanna take your Meissler cleanser water with a cotton pad and wipe off anything that's excess on your face, especially the eyes. Then you want to spray a toner or use a, sorry, yeah, a toner or an essence. Then you wanna use a serum, which is hydrating. Then you wanna use a moisturizer, which is what I just put on. And I'm gonna be a little fancy and use this tool from cosmetics this came in my boxy charm one of these months as 
well. And this is just gonna help the product penetrate into my skin, still staying in the steamer because one, it feels good. Two, again, the pores are open. All the products are sinking in. And it's just is a, such a great way to pamper yourself, especially in the state of the world that we live in right now. And just in general, like why in the world not? So I have a few of these types of things and I'll link my Amazon storefront below and you can take a look at the skincare section. Oh, why is this showing? You didn't tell me my microphone was showing. Take a look at the skincare section, grab whatever you see fit. All right, and the, the, the steamer is also on my storefront. So we've got moisturizer. Now we are going to use an oil and this just seals everything in. Oil comes always after your moisturizer. It's usually really thick and it's gonna seal everything in. I mean, you don't need a lot, right? But just enough, you know? And some might feel like I just took a lot, but that's me. <laughs> Then you could put it onto your hand and then onto your face, but who has time? All right, so I noticed that I'm avoiding the eye area as I apply all of these products. Can't talk while I'm <laughs> massaging my neck. Make sure you bring, sorry, I'm talking so much. You need to make sure you bring this stuff down to your neck, okay? Bring this down to your neck. I'm avoiding the eye area because you don't need to put so much next to the eye area. There was a time where I stopped doing eye cream because I was doing research and finding out that it wasn't necessary, but I like doing eye cream, so it's not gonna hurt, so why not? Because because the theory was when you're putting all this on, especially when you spray, like if I sprayed my essence like I did, it's gonna go onto your eyes. And then when I'm putting this on, it ends up like traveling around the eyes. So if you look at my face, my eye area does look hydrated, but I'm extra and I'm going to put eye cream on anyway. So as you can see, this has stopped. Oh, almost. <laughs> Almost, it's almost done. And when it gets to the bottom, it kind of smells like it's burnt, not burning, but it just smells kind of like popcorn kind of. So I'm gonna just turn this off. And here's the little cartridge. Make sure you use distilled water because that'll help it not get all dirty and disgusting. If you put regular water in here, this is gonna be all mildewy and stuff. You don't want that. So distilled water is the way to go with your steamer. All right, so that's done and that's fine because as you can see, I just finished, so it worked out. Okay, so what did I say? Eye cream, yeah. So this is new, I haven't used this before. Thrive Cosmetics to find gravity eyelid lifting cream it's a line it has line filler technology hmm. all right and again i'll link all the products below in case you have any interest make sure you use your ring finger whenever handling the eye area let's start on the outside all right and then be very gentle it might look like i'm rough, being rough right now but i'm not be very gentle with your eye area i used to be really rough until i realized yeah do your research do yo research i used to not like two years ago i was not doing any of this stuff i did not recognize the importance of this but it is very important and believe you me i do all of this before my makeup so you have to treat your skin before you do your makeup that is a must you do not just wash your face out of the shower or in the sink and then go sit down to your face all dry no 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 even if you have oily skin i have combination skin my skin isn't necessarily oily now it has changed a bit i you know my t-zone gets a little moist but i wouldn't consider myself oily anymore i used to feel like I was wicked oily and that's because I wasn't doing anything to my face. Dry skin pr produces lots of oil. Why? Because it's freaking dry. Okay. So make sure you're doing a skincare routine. If you want to follow what I'm doing, just know that I have combination skin. I don't have any dry patches. It's not dry in any areas. It's more so dehydrated. So dry skin will show itself in dry patches. Dehydrated skin just feels kind of tight. That's what I get when I don't put enough moisture on my skin. So like you just saw, oil Oil is a lot. Oh, sorry. I didn't tell you the oil was. Excuse me. Yeah, I have lots of oils. This one is Elemis. This came in my boxy charm as well. And this is Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. And thankfully, my skin is not sensitive. So when I try different things out, I do not break out. So if you're someone who has sensitive skin, be very careful with what you're trying out. Introduce one new product at a time, one per week. So you can see if you have any breakouts, you know exactly what it was because you introduced one new thing to your current regimen, okay? That's it. And like I said, after this, I do my face. Now you might think, wow, her face is so greasy. How is she gonna do her makeup? Well, usually I do my skincare in my bathroom. I come, I sit down, do my Bible study, get my coffee, whatever. So by the time I do my actual makeup, it's been well over 30 minutes, if not an hour. So it has gotten a chance to all sink in. However, if I go right into it, which I have done in the past, it's fine. Of course, I'm gonna mattify my T-zone. That's always a must. And then the rest just looks really supple and healthy. So 
it's not the end of the world, okay? You have to hydrate your skin. You have to do your, like get a skincare routine down, use those simple steps that I was talking about, but then find products that work for you or that work in your budget. Like I mentioned, some of these are from BoxyCharm, so they're very pricey, but with BoxyCharm, I just pay 25 bucks a month and I get five full size products. And some of the products in times are like $100, $200, okay? But there are lots and lots of products on the market. Just get an idea of what works for you. Get some samples if you can from drugstores and see what, you know, see what you like. But all in all, take care of your skin. That's all I want to say. But I hope that this was helpful for you. Comment below and let me know if you have a skincare regimen, what products you're trying out, what your concerns are. Do you know where to begin? Hopefully this video was clear enough for you so that you have an idea of where to start. Make sure you subscribe, comment below, and give this video a thumbs up.